Нет, я не готов. It's time to start our afternoon session. The first speaker is Alexei Sosinski, Independent University of Moscow. Uh, I would like to begin by apologizing. Uh, I lost the best file uh, with the best animations that I have. Uh, in the process of turning, uh, of connecting this up to uh, the uh, projector, uh, the file disappeared, uh, and I wasn't able to find it. But th there will be some animations anyway. Um, so, um, uh, in mathematics, uh, you very often. Uh, have to classify mathematical objects. One of the favorite ways of doing that is to reduce these objects to normal form. Uh, um, the general setting for that is the following. Uh, you have a class of objects um, and uh, an equivalence relation uh, on this class. And uh, what you want to do is to produce an algorithm uh, that um, transforms any um, one of these objects uh, into the normal object in some way. So uh, what we have here reduction Uh, now, uh, the starting point of this talk is the idea that uh, my co-authors and I wanted to find out whether this approach uh, can be successfully used uh, in classical math theory. Uh, so um, what we did was to devise an algorithm implemented uh, in computer animations, which is supposed to do the following. It's supposed to isotope. start the mass of the normal form for classical knots. Now, since uh, one can expect that the normal full forms can be easily recognized, uh, uh, this approach should yield a um, um, recognition, should yield not recognition. What you would like to have is uh, to have a unique normal form uh, for each um, isotopy class of knots. And you would like your algorithm to take any knot uh, by isotoping it uh, to normal form mm -hmm. um, and thereby uh, to obtain a knot recognition algorithm. Now, of course, we did not succeed in um, achieving uh, this rather mm, difficult aim. Uh, and the rest of this talk uh, will be devoted to um, mm, uh, describing the algorithm, um, showing how it's implemented, uh, and analyzing the results uh, of the numerous computer experiments that we carried out 
with uh, the other. Now, um, uh, I can say that this talk is not really mathematics. Uh, it's uh, mm, an assessment uh, of uh, a very large computer experiments. There will be no theorems, no proofs, uh, just results of computer experiments, uh, which from the medical, mathematical standpoint uh, mean uh, nothing at all. Um, nevertheless, uh, I think there is some interest. This is mathematics. Mathematics is not just the theorems and the definitions. Yeah, okay. I disagree. Right. Um, uh, um, uh, now, before I begin um, explaining how the algorithm goes, I would like to say a few words uh, about uh, my motivation uh, in uh, doing uh, this work. Uh, four years ago, uh, my wife um, broke her favorite handbag. She had a favorite handbag, which she used for years and years, and finally it fell apart. And uh, when it fell apart, uh, springs uh, contained in the uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, handbag came out of it. Are these genuine things? Yes, they're the ones. I had to buy another handbag like that and uh, uh, extract uh, more strings from it. Uh, so, let's see, where's the one I want? Okay, let's take this one. Um, so actually, um, uh, if you put the string on the table, it straightens out. If you bend it, it will uh, straighten out again after some oscillations uh, because of friction. Now actually, this is a, a kind of hollow tube. So uh, uh, I invented uh, the 101st use of paper clips uh, by sticking a paper clip uh, in the hole, uh, gluing it, and then you can close up uh, this thing, you, you, you get a circle. Uh, now, um, if uh, if you deform the circle, it comes back to the same uh, thing. If you can deform it in free space, and, uh, and you let it go, it jumps up and becomes a circle again. So this is the normal form, uh, the, the wire non normal form uh, of the uh, uh, knot. Uh, now I played uh, around with uh, mm, these wire knots uh, for quite a while. Um, mm, and uh, the first experiment is the one that you would expect. I take this thing, I not tie a simple knot. Uh, uh, I close it up. Mm, uh, put it on the table, it jumps up and I get the normal form of the tree form. Uh, it uh, winds around itself three times, three crossing points. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so, uh, so here are some other lovely normal forms. This one like that, uh, and this one like that. They're all plain. Now, um, with uh, these wires, uh, all of the uh, normal forms were almost flat. Uh, and this, of course, I found rather disappointing because uh, what I was looking for is a kind of ideal knot. Uh, and uh, I would like to think that an ideal knot has to be three-dimensional. Uh, and here, uh, these guys are almost flat. So I looked around for different wires. Um, uh, look, come back to this knot. This is the 4-1 knot. Um, if I twist it up like that, uh, I can move to this shape. So it's a closed um, uh, braid in three strands. Um, 
Uh, but this is not a normal form because I put it here, it jumps up, it comes back to the original thing. Uh, notice that it's not the same one because uh, this black connecting thing uh, in the previous case was here. Uh, so it comes up to the same shape, but not uh, um, uh, point by point. It slides along itself. Now, uh, with this other wire, I got a great surprise. Not the back mm -hmm. uh, So this is another 4 1 knot, figure 8 knot. Uh, and uh, uh, it's presented here as a closed braid. And uh, it's stable, unlike this other way. However, it's not very stable. <laughs> it jumped up, it's and uh, surprisingly, I got uh, a space knot. I was, I was very happy with that. Um, and then uh, I decided it's about to do some mathematics uh, uh, and try to construct a mathematical model uh, uh, of these. Um, uh, little wires. Uh, so, um, uh, this is what uh, we did. so-called Elastica Kaye problem. Um, the problem was set by David Bernoulli, and uh, the, the original statement is this. Uh, you have an elastic rod. Uh, it's fixed and vertical uh, uh, at the original position. And the question is, uh, what position will it acquire in space? So this problem was solved by Euler uh, by using uh, of this particular uh, function. Uh, now the repulsive functional that we use, I will not define in detail. Uh, I'll just explain how it works. Um, very briefly, uh, it says the following. When you have two points which are far away on the curve, if in space they come close together, uh, then uh, the um, functional becomes huge. So this is huge. Um, uh, if uh, there exist points S1, 
this too, uh, such that uh, when the distance along the curve between S1 and S2 uh, is small, um, but the Euclidean distance between these points uh, is not very small. Um, having in mind of the title of this conference, uh, when I first prepared for this talk, um, I wrote less than or equal to epsilon, uh, and here uh, greater than or equal to 3 epsilon, and I replace the epsilon by this symbol in order, in, um, in order to uh, have something quantum. And I decided that this is very poor humor. I'm not going to do that. OK. Uh, so uh, what does this uh, function want to do? Um, small uh, really means the uh, radius or the diameter uh, of the wire. Uh, and it prevents crossing changes. Because as soon as two branches of the wire come together, um, uh, the functional becomes uh, huge. So um, we work with this function, or more precisely, starting from the function, uh, we discretize. It's the way around. Maybe maybe small, small, maybe no, it's small, but uh, up, up is uh, yeah, uh, big. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, not very small. So we discretize this function, obtaining a function that I will denote uh, f hat. And then what we do is we do uh, something which may be called a gradient descent.
and uh, now I start uh, moving down along the minus the gradient uh, until I come to a minimum. So a minimum is a point is a curve gamma null, gamma zero, uh, such that uh, in any neighborhood in the natural topology of knots, uh, all the uh, other knots uh, have higher values of So uh, now let's look at the um, isotopy class of the knot that we started with. Uh, now it would be wonderful if, uh, um, in, uh, so in this situation, our not gamma uh, was isotoped to gamma zero which I would like to think of as the normal form. Now, uh, uh, everything would be perfect if I take any other gamma prime f gamma prime and then see what happens to it and then if it um, always It's not clear how many minima there are, um, uh, and uh, so um, uh, we, we get many normal forms, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is not uh, uh, really of uh, great interest to the practical or theoretical. Uh, so, nevertheless. I would like to give a definition, and I will say uh, that um, gamma zero is a normal form if um, f tilde is equal to the minimum for all gamma isotopic to gamma zero um, uh, of, the, of gamma. So this is a normal form. Uh, so it involves two things. Uh, first, it is achieved uh, by uh, the isotoping process of uh, implemented in the computer, and also uh, it has uh, the um, smallest possible value uh, of uh, for f of gamma. Okay, so uh, now let me. How much time do I have? Four minutes. Four minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, so. Uh, so the, the results. Um, uh, I will not describe the experiments. I don't have time to show uh, the uh, animations. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but anybody can catch me at any time. When I'm near my computer, I can show them on the computer. And so the results are this. There are good news and bad news. Um, uh, there are two very good news. Uh, first of all, uh, in all our experiments, um, we uh, have uh, obtained a unique normal form in all of the isotopy classes that we consider. Uh, however, um, in many cases, uh, the uh, process does not reach the normal form. It reaches uh, something that may be called a quasi-normal form, um, which has a bigger value of um, and the um, um, a bigger value um, uh, of the function. Uh, now, uh, uh, another good news is that uh, the um, uh, uh, that the uh, that the uh, the normal form of knots obtained mathematically are very similar to the normal forms of knots uh, obtained um, uh, for wires. Now, uh, uh, these are normal forms of knots with seven crossing or less obtained with a wire. And, um, these are normal forms of knots uh, obtained by that. Now, but, uh, what, what about the repulsion? You, uh, the knots three one and five one here, they have uh, just fragments very close to uh, to each other. Well, uh, of course. Now, uh, in the mathematical model. Uh, uh, the knot is a curve, an abstract mathematical object. However, um, uh, the repulsive functional does not allow uh, uh, the curve to cross. And in the picture, um, uh, uh, there is a, uh, a certain distance. They, they cannot come closer than a certain distance, which models the thickness of the wire. Uh, now, if you compare these pictures, um, you see that uh, the results are very similar, but not uh, always the same. Um, uh, what is interesting is uh, that uh, in the, um, the mathematical model, um, uh, two uh, of the uh, 14 normal forms for knots with seven crossings or less uh, were three-dimensional. Uh, this was a pleasant surprise. Uh, however, um, uh, there's a discrepancy between uh, uh, normal forms in certain cases. For example, uh, there are two different 5-2s. Uh, this is the 5-2 in uh, for wires, and this is the 5-2 uh, for, uh, for curves. Uh, and uh, So that it's not a perfect model of uh, the wires that we're considering. Uh, now, uh, the real, now for the real bad news. The bad news uh, is that despite the fact that we had conducted uh, a huge number uh, of experiments with randomly generated three-dimensional knots, um, uh, hundreds and thousands uh, of experiments. Um, uh, we were very happy with the way they worked, and we conjectured uh, that this is an unknotting algorithm. 
It turned out that this, that this was not true, and there is unfortunately, or fortunately. What is an unlocking algorithm? Um, it's a, um, a, an algorithm which, given uh, any not, not diagram uh, of the unknot, uh, uh, says yes or no, depending on whether or not. And so this is the extremely simple counterexample. Functional. For example, the uh, beautiful O'Hara, Jim O'Hara's uh, beautiful Mobius function. Uh, hopefully, uh, this uh, will bring about better results uh, than our approach. Okay. <laughs> Uh, distinguish what? Uh, knots in pair for pair. So, these these two knots that uh, was distinguished by pair. So oh, no, you see, uh, no, uh, they, they have crossing point they eleven. They have crossing point eleven. Ah. Uh, uh, and uh, ten. The crossing number eleven. Ten. And uh, uh, ten. Sorry, ten. Uh, we've worked up to seven, so we didn't try. Uh, but. Uh, mm, uh, mm, what happens um, uh, here uh, is that uh, now on this table uh, you have uh, values of uh, the um, functional uh, for these normal forms. Uh, now uh, mm, uh, these are exact to some round off error. When the number of crossings becomes very large, the round off error becomes uh, so large that uh, uh, what we're doing uh, doesn't really work. You have to uh, change the algorithm, uh, use a supercomputer, uh, and so forth. At least practically, uh, we don't go that far. Uh, to give a, a correct mathematical uh, treatment of uh, the results of the experiment. Uh, you would have to express this uh, in terms uh, of the category of tolerance spaces. Uh, you know, this is not really topology. Uh, there are no things as, no difference between open sets and, uh, and uh, closed sets, uh, uh, infin uh, infima and minima are the same thing and so forth. Uh, this is a completely different situation. Oh, louder, please. Mm -hmm. 
machine. Constructing uh, a knot of wires, uh, how? Put an electricity on the knot. Ah, ah yes, so, uh, this, uh, uh, this is the so called pull on. Uh, uh, this has been done mathematically, uh, I think by Fukuhara or somebody. Uh, uh, the, 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 this is one of the uh, classical uh, mm, uh, not uh, energies used by various people. And uh, there's a lot of work uh, concerning uh, various uh, 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 interpretations of what an ideal knot should be. Uh, in particular, uh, there is this notion of rope length or the notion of um, a fat knot and so forth, which also produce, at least in practice, for a small number of persons. Uh, uh, in certain shapes, which may be called um, uh, flat, um, may be called ideal knots. Okay. Okay, Alexei, thank you very much again for your very nice talk. Seven minutes. Ну, понимаешь, перед самым докладом у меня перед самым, с компьютером да, получилось да. только, и поэтому а это самое.